Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. It's a beautiful sunny day out, nearly 60 degrees, on March 8th here in Wisconsin. And I figure I would take advantage of this gorgeous weather to do some spring cleaning here in the garden. In today's video, we're going to be cleaning up our raspberry bramble. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to prune your canes, get rid of some of the old canes, and make sure that you are encouraging the best and most healthy growth possible out of your berries. The first thing that we're going to be doing is taking out all of the spent canes that aren't going to be producing any more fruit. You can tell which canes aren't going to be producing any more fruit because it starts to peel like a tree bark around the outside of that cane. And then also they're very, very brittle and weak. So you can tell that that's a dead used up cane that's not going to be producing anymore. You're just going to take those and chop them all the way down to the ground. So you can tell right here, this is exactly what it looks like. You can see that the outside of this cane is just peeling right off. That's gonna be a cane that we're cutting today. We're just gonna go right down as far as we can and chop those right off. There's about six more canes in here that I'm gonna cut off. And one more. Okay, we've gotten all of our spent canes. Now something we can do is take a look at all of the canes that are growing outside of our bramble. You can see that there's a bunch of them over here growing out of where we want them to. I'm just gonna chop a few of these right off to the ground. And then I'm also gonna show you how to transplant and propagate these if you'd like to do so. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to transplant the ones that we have left. The next thing we need to do in our bramble though is to get rid of any weak or diseased canes that we see in here. Looking right off the bat, there is only one of them that I would like to cut down, which is this one here. I'm just going to cut that right down to the ground, but besides that one, everything else looks pretty good. Our next step is gonna be thinning these out. We want about four to six canes per square foot. So in this spot over here, they're a little bit more dense than they should be. And over here, they're less dense than they should be. So we're actually gonna transplant one of those into this spot later. But for now, I'm just gonna cut off, looks about like two of these right here to open up a little space. This is just gonna provide enough airflow and sunlight for our healthy plants to make sure they're not overcrowded. So let's take a closer look down at these to show you exactly what we have for plant density. So as you can see, we clearly don't have too many to the point where they're overcrowding each other. If in this spot you were to have like 10 whole canes in that one little area, then that would obviously be too much and they're gonna crowd each other out. They're not gonna have good fruit production and can also induce some disease on your plants, which we clearly want to avoid. Give you a nice shot from the side to show you what it looks like. And now we're on to our last step, which is pruning. Basically, I'll take about the first foot of all of these canes and chop them off. This is going to produce healthier fruit down at the strongest part of this cane. Uh, generally, if you pay attention, you're gonna have a lot weaker fruit sets on the top a portion of your cane so pruning these each year definitely helps out this helps ensure that the energy is being put into the most important part of your plant that are gonna give you the most fruit all right guys now on to transplanting and propagating your raspberry bushes if you'd like to do so early early spring is the best time to do this you can see we cleared around the cane a little bit that was growing outside of the desired area. All we're gonna do is dig a hole about six inches away from the center of this cane and about eight to 12 inches deep.
when pulling this up, you should be able to feel where the dominant root structure is. And I want to take the soil off of here just to show you guys. Even if you have a root structure like this, that is plenty enough to transplant this thing and get it growing as long as you do it early enough in the season where you're not disrupting the growth cycle of your raspberries and not stressing it out too much while it's trying to grow. Now, yes, please try and keep the soil around your transplant when doing this yourself, but in this case, I just wanted to show you guys how much root structure you actually need when transplanting. So we're gonna put this in the ground deep enough to completely cover any existing roots that were below the soil before, lightly tamping down the soil around the plant, and you're good to go. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay tuned for a fun-filled and awesome gardening season this year. Click this box up here to move on to the next episode. And as always, happy gardening.